Hey guys, welcome back to Vex Super Hostel Kaizo Caverns. This is Kyle Kazen. Kyle Kazen? No, it's Kyle Kazen. And this is my survival guide. And uh, last time we secured three important things the iron ore, the cyan wool, and the light gray wool. However, uh, we kind of didn't get it back to the victory monument. My episode was kind of cut short, and I wasn't going to take the dangerous route back to the victory monument so instead i'm gonna take the uh, nice safe route safe by uh lava gravel trap that i managed to clear out off camera um i tried digging around it but the silverfish kind of knocked me onto the pressure plate and everything went to hell from there um so we're gonna take the nice safe route home uh through the elven ruins so yeah i think it's gonna be fun so down we go uh, four, five hearts already down from that just drop, so, but yeah, nice safe route, we're gonna get the wool back to, uh, the Victory Monument before we do anything else, and our next stop will be the Ilverin Mines, now, uh, that dungeon is a pain in the butt, uh, there's a ton of spiders and a ton of other things, uh, and yeah, we're back in Intersection 2, believe it or not, we have successfully cleared out Cavern of Sky, um, I'm actually impressed with myself. Uh, dropping down into that spider thing was kind of deadly at points, but I had the Bane of Arthropod Sword, and that really just killed everything. Uh, so that was amazing to have uh, for that part. I did not expect that thing to be right above the spiders. Uh, normally, I'd use lava and then tunnel my way into the wool chamber and fight my way out and kill all those spawners. So I actually did something different than what I thought I'd do. Um, but yeah, uh, the lava is how you get through that. Lava is always nice to have when dealing with spiders because it'll burn those suckers up like no fucking tomorrow. And boy, oh boy, does it work like crazy. So, <laughs> uh, we've got iron to smelt. We've got wool to place. I am going to enjoy placing these wool because this wool is the wool. And we have a... Where's my potato? thought I had a potato. Oh well. Um, I must have dropped it somewhere. I thought I found a potato. Maybe not. May have been in the one, one of the filmings where my game bros. Um, like early in the episode that happened once I think that's where I got the potato and whatnot but anyways we placed down our two prizes and we're almost done with the victory monument all we have left is the brown and the green wool really easy to get the red wool and the black wool the black wool is sort of easy to get just uh, horrible to try and find the iron block the gold the iron block is what we're gonna get next and the gold blocks also there so uh, the iron block can actually be smelted here so why not? We're gonna go ahead and throw a 32 iron ore in there, 32 iron ore in there, uh, 32 iron ore in there, and 32 in there. Oh my god. So, we have now got the cyan wool and the light gray wool. Such a colorful box, don't you think? And yeah, we have all the signs we need. This is epic. So we have all the signs we need to put zero deaths on there. Um, so, um, pretty epic, I think, and I got the last piece of glass here just to complete that. I'm a little OCD about that. Um, so, yay! Cobble Maker 3000! Yay! Okay, I'm a little silly. Um, I'm just happy to be this far in the map with no deaths uh, for you guys, so... <laughs> ah, this is amazing. Vex... I love you so much. No, I actually hate you. Um, I'm going to see what it takes to repair my bow. Hopefully it's going to be cheap. So we got four there. We got four here. We got four there. Or five now. Eighteen. Let's go ahead and make our iron block to place on the monument. And you know what? We're going to make two just to place a second one inside of uh, our chest there. For our monument completion chest to uh, show me what I've got left to do when I log on. So, iron block. Not bad. Uh... I mean, that's pretty freaking epic, if I do say so myself. So that's going to be three from the end. So that's at 20, uh, but there's only going to be 19, isn't there? Yeah, no. Because each of the, this is 18. Uh, it's three way, so 19, 18, diamond, gold, iron. Iron goes there. 
So, sweet mother of freaking Pearl, we've almost completed the Victory Monument. How about that? How about that? I mean, already almost done with this shit. That is great. Uh, what kind of eat- what kind of food do I have? I don't have much food, do I? Uh, I have mushrooms, so I think I'll be fine for food- OH! Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. We got a music disc in that last episode. Ugh. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> Vax, you're giving me everything I need. Um, so, this episode is probably just going to be a derp episode. Um, because I'm going to be... There we go. Actually, I actually got the iron I needed. So, three iron blocks. Uh, and four. So. Alright, and four for that. And we now have an anvil in our base. So, that's going to be nice. Let's see what we can't do with it. Um... Let's find a full-on bow, if not a bow that I can repair here. So there's one. Do I have another bow in here? I do not. How much string do I have? Plenty. Okay, that's good. Uh, but I don't need to make another bow, I just need to uh, have this thing repair my infinity bow at this point in time. 18 levels! I will take that right off the bat. That is great. Um, so... Now I don't have to enchant another bow. That enchanting table now is just for my enthusiasm. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we have 25. Now it's time to uh, start setting up a full set of iron armor. Um, this helmet can actually be uh, stored away here. Um, I'm going to keep the diamond pants on. So, because, well, you know, it's diamond pants. And you don't want to waste diamond pants. So, And they're going to last forever. We're gonna get some more levels here. I think we are. And, uh, maybe we'll save up enough to, uh... You know. Get myself a, uh, new, uh... Repair my old sword. How's that sound? Uh, with the sharpness? Or... Let's see here. Maybe I can do this. Cause I got knockback 2 on that. Let's see if I can't, uh... Cause that's Bane... 24. I need 24 levels to repair that. Let's see what happens if I put this first. Uh, enchantment costs 20 sharpness, 4 and knockback 2. Which one do I want more? I want the Bane of Arthropods more. So we're going to go ahead, because they're not going to combine enchantments, we're going to go and throw the smite in there. Let's see if I can get smite on this thing. Uh, smite 3 and looting 1. Enchantment costs 33 to fully repair it. Let's see what happens if I put that there. 29. So I need 29 levels if I want to combine those. So, eh. That's gonna be dumb. Um, so, why don't we leave uh, this to smelt? We're gonna go ahead and split that four ways here. And one, two, three, four. There we go. So, yeah. Not bad at all. Now, the fun part about this pick right here is it uh, has uh, fortune on it. So, when I go to mine out more coal, which I will eventually, um... I'm going to have some fun with it. <laughs> and by fun, I mean it's going to uh, mine out a shit ton of stuff for me. So, that's going to be nice. Uh, I am just so relieved to finally be in and out of that dungeon. Uh, but we got to get the we gotta get the gold. Um, that gold's going to be a pain. So, okay, got 20 of those. Ah, uh, shoot. So, 20 more iron ingots right off the bat. Ah, oh, this is just amazing. You have no idea how much of a relief it is to be this far without death. Um, <laughs> I know Paul Source Jr. Uh, in Waking Up was really, like, happy. I, know, I, I mean, he beat Spellbound Kays without dying. Uh, he kind of had to because he was playing on hardcore. And that's not fun. So, <laughs> yeah. Um... What do you know? Now, the thing about this next dungeon is the thing that is in my hand is going to be my saving grace. It is lava, and lava is going to be my uh, main killer here in this dungeon. It's going to be what does the fighting for me, and I'm going to take every block I have at this point in time to uh, do what I can against all the spiders and shit that I'm going to be facing, so... Yeah, we're gonna have some fun! Uh, and by fun, I mean we're gonna... 
I still can't sleep, but, you know, if I don't die, I really don't need to. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not going to die. That is my goal, is to beat this without death, and dying, and death, and more death and dying, and all that crazy crap that Vex is, uh, put in here to kill us will not succeed if I do this right. So, <laughs> all things set aside, we're doing pretty damn well. Um... So, oh look, my cactus grew. Yay, I have a cactus farm. Can't you tell? It's a nice cactus farm. Um, I want to put carrots and potatoes there. Um, sugar cane will go there. I got a place for melons. My nether wart's growing. I don't really need any more potions. I mean, I got all the potions I need right here. I'm going to take another regen and another uh, instant health here. And I may actually even take a speed potion. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to take here. So, but yeah, guys. Uh... This playthrough has been a lot of fun, uh, overall, I mean, heck, I mean, I haven't died. I mean, it's always fun to beat a Vex map without dying, isn't it? So, come on, finish your smelting, there you go. So, yay, okay, that's all done smelting, so I think we're good here. Alright, to, uh, intersection 2 once more to the ruins of Ilvern, to the mines. To the mines, to the mines, to the mines. Hi, Creeper. I got a sign that has your name on it. So, yes. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to come out of this dungeon level 30, by the way, just to let you know. <laughs> it's not really that hard of a dungeon. It's just, there's a ton of spiders. It looks scary. It is scary at first when you don't know what you're doing. Um, I need the Bane of Arthropod Sword, thank you very much. I don't need two stacks of cobble, but I will need my torches on my bar. The lava, torches, food, there we go, that's the order I want this stuff in. And we're gonna have the regen potion up first, so. Okay, I have my bar set the way I like it. Now, I, I normally don't use regen potions, but as you can see, one has already saved my life. One actually allowed me to uh, do it, or one actually, one regen potions helped me a lot in waking up as well. I really haven't used that blaze farm all that much, so, um, but you know, it's always fun to have. I have my smite sword in here, uh, in case there's a ton of skeletons. So, to the ruins and mines, I can say that I'm quite pleased with the way this... Uh, Let's Play is taking account. I mean, you know, I'm still not dead. That's a good thing. And I'm going to uh, hate my life here in a moment. So, yeah, yeah. Throw out the extra two pieces. Of, whoa, actually, I didn't pick up any extra cobblestone. Cool. Um, it just added on to another stack. So that's good. So let's get through here and just be obnoxious, shall we? Uh, be obnoxious, kill spiders, that sort of deal. You know, throw down some lava, have some fun. So, eh, you know what I mean. Whoa, hello lag. Okay, I'm getting the choppy lag here. Eh, there we go. So, yeah. But yeah, we're just gonna come through here and be obnoxious. That's all we're gonna do. So... <laughs> Uh, obnoxiousness. It's it's fun at times. I miss my cobble. I don't know how that happened. I just randomly ran through and picked it up. Any piece of cobble here uh, that I get is going to be very much appreciated. So, into the mines we dwell. Uh, eh, I've been dreading this all all the time. Um, in case you can't tell, I kind of don't like this dungeon. So, okay. This would be Zisto's favorite part of the map. Did I mention Zisto's a lava expert? Yes. That's his uh, little saying is that he's a lava expert. And, you know, if you don't watch Zisto's videos, you really should. He's really cool. Um, the way he handles things. But, um, yeah. You know, I can, s I can almost swear that this is one of the parts where the spiders and the skeletons and all the monsters are just annoying as hell. Um, wow, I actually killed that skill. Did I just shoot you through the door? I shot you through the door. That's amazing. Okay. So, yeah. And... 
Eh, what's my brightness at? My brightness isn't bright. That's why I'm lagging a little more than I usually do. Um, so, all right, here we go. Eh, I don't like this dungeon at all. It's annoying as fuck. And I've got Enderman in here. Go away. How the hell am I missing him? I mean, there. Ah, shit. Come at me, bro. Seriously, come at me. I'm gonna hit you with this. Come on. Don't be shy. There you go. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted them off the bridge. I wanted them off my goddamn bridge. Get down. Go. Get down. Get down. Go away. Off my bridge. All of you. Now. Get down. Go away. So. Ow. Are one of you still angry at me? I hit you with the Zeus this time. The fire should have dealt with that. Oh my god. Hey! Uh, this is doing absolutely nothing. Whoa. Huge lag right there. And it's probably because of all the spiders and the noise. Go! Oh, get away. So. Where are you? I hit you with the Zeus sign. You should not be angry with me anymore. Um. Hmm. So. Okay. Well. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my game sound here. Uh, turn it down to about 7%. Um, just because the uh, sheer number and sound of all the mobs is what's causing my game to lag here. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Skeleton and Mr. Zombie, but you gotta go. So. Um, ow. Yeah, I'm sitting at a decent 16 frames per second here. Um, <laughs> so, anything that happens, it's fair game. Uh, it's just gonna be because of lag. How the hell did you get up here? So, yeah. Okay. Let's continue here. Get... Oh my god. Oh my... That's it. Lava is going down right there. So, yeah, lava. Okay, that's good enough for me. That'll at least give me some light down there. It'll burn up skeletons nearby. And uh, prevent spawns from knocking me off of here. This is also good. Now, uh, every block that I have here is going to be nice to uh, take down my foes with here. So, yeah. As you can see, I'm just going to... Continue lighting this area up and try not to get knocked off the entire fucking time. Um, I'll probably fail at some point. I'll probably get knocked off. Uh, that's just my luck with this sort of shit. See? What did I... Oh my god, you are fucking annoying. Get off of my bridge. You know, I just killed one of your friends. You, like, seriously, these mob AIs? Should, like, have a rule that if their friend dies, they should run away. Like... Honestly, it's so annoying to have to deal with more than one of these guys um, over and over again. Okay, so... Um, yeah. And as you can see, there's a lot of spiders below me. Um, so, that lava is going to keep him at bay for only so long. Um, so, and this wall here is only to protect me for... Uh, from spiders that want to climb as well as skeletons and stuff that wish to climb here So my goal is to get down to the gold. That is my goal. If I can get down to the gold It's going to be fine. So um, I'm actually going to throw in a lava bucket right there um, I don't know why that enderman is still mad at me So yeah, now we got lava coming down up there. That'll pretty much burn almost everything um, there's just one more piece of lava I need to throw up, and it's right there, so. Come on, do your thing, and we're good. So, yeah, as you can see, this spider is annoying. So, alright, yeah, um, I'm pissed at these spiders. There's some more bread for me to eat. Um, 
Now the spider numbers are going to start going down as the lava continues to flow, and I'm going to go ahead and pop up some lava there. Uh, and this is why I brought fire resistance, is so I can just walk through here. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, it's working quite well, actually. And now if I actually just run over there, I can pretty much hop from place to place here. So Now, uh, my base is actually going to start burning down here in a second. Uh, but you know what, that's fine by me, because the more lava I place down, the better. Uh, now, here's where I'm going to have some fun, uh, because we're actually going to have lava come straight out the front of this thing. Yes, I said straight out the front, and it's going to be fun. So we're going to go ahead and place lava right there, because I want all of these bastards to burn, and they are going to do so. <laughs> All right, that should do it for my uh, lava tie right there. So, all right, as you can see, the lava is just going to flow into that hole, and I just pissed off another Enderman. Great. Um, that's fantastic. So, as you can see, there we go. Creepers are blowing each other up. That is fantastic for me. And I'm getting my stuff set up to be able to uh, burn the Enderman here. There we go. That's what I needed. And that lava should do the trick. Uh, it should protect me for the most part from everything that's going to try and come up here. And as you can see, the Enderman kind of walked in there. Uh, which is good and bad at the same time. So now that this has been burned down, which is actually what I wanted it to do... Um, Sweetness, I'm gonna have my bridge. I'm gonna have my bridge. I'm gonna have my lava bridge. Yes, 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 I am. So, yes, I am excited because this is going to allow me to build none other than my bridge. And this bridge is going to allow me to deploy lava at certain states. And we're just slowly gonna work our way over to the rest of these spawners and drop lava all over the place. <laughs> um. So, yeah, that's pretty much my plan. <laughs> We're going to drop lava on their heads all over the goddamn place and hope to God it works. <laughs> uh, and we're just slowly going to take out these spawners. And the thing about the lava is I'm actually conserving torches, which is nice and dandy. Um, because the uh, torch conservation effort is what I've been looking for. I've been looking for a way to conserve torches. Now I'm actually going to drop in a few more uh, squares of lava here, uh, just because it's going to be fun to do. So, and then as soon as it deploys that, and there. That should do it. Deploy your thing. Okay, and that should do it. Uh, I should actually just be safe to uh, go ahead and start building. Yeah, see? And there was a skeleton right there, so... I'm glad he kind of fell in the lava. That was probably a spider jockey, to be a uh, spider jockey, a spider jockey, uh, to be honest. Uh, spider spawners can spawn those. So, look at this, doing pretty damn well, aren't I? Uh, yeah. I think I'm safe. So let's go ahead and. Oh yeah, I'm good. I I'm well safe. <laughs> so. And now all that's left to do is to continue just deploying my little lava falls here. Um, Alright, Bane of Arthropod Sword, here we come. So in the lot, and now I just allow the lava to do all the work, hard work here. So, and as you can see, nothing can get to me while I knock out these spawners. And that's ultimately what I was going for, is a safe way to come here, take out spawners, and fight. So, those spider spawners are now down. We're going to come over here, take... There's a chest right there. I don't think I'm safe right here, to be honest. And I'm not. Um, so we're going to go ahead and leave the chest alone. I think we are. Um, I took out the spawners that I wanted to take out, and that was the goal. Um, that creeper's going to try and follow me here, but I'm not going to allow him to. We're going to go ahead and knock out the path. And we're going to continue on my own. So. <laughs> so as you can see, nice and easy way to get across. Uh, this dungeon is a pain in my backside, but 
as you can see, there's more spawns down there. I'm not even going to worry about them because I have a plan to get past all of them. So. Oh yeah, I might want to take out that spawner too. That may actually be helpful. <laughs> so let's go ahead and come over here and uh, take that sucker out. Now the thing is with uh, this next part here... Uh, whoa! Huge lag spike there. It's probably because of the lava uh, that I'm using to do this. So next, I want to get in here. And I'm going to place down lava right there, use my Bane Sword, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and grab my cobble blocks here, throw them in there to prevent the lava from spreading. Now the uh, lava that I put in there is quite literally just to uh, stop me from uh, eating crap due to uh, spawners here. Um, Got to grab the bucket. So, yeah. Now it should be uh, somewhat safe to come over here and do that. And just knock out spawners. There you go. Um, I'm actually going to tunnel over here a little bit. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I need to uh, be wary of here. So, and I should be safe to just knock out spawns. Uh, so, I do like to uh, spawn rate this dungeon because it's really fun. And this is going to make a nice little outcove for me to deploy more lava. So, yeah. Vex, you gave me my base here, dude. Not a smart idea, so. Throw up a couple of torches. And then this is my base. So, not a bad start or end of this uh, map here. And we're going to slowly but surely have all these spawners just plain out knocked out, and that's what I plan to do, so. Alright, I have now got myself a small alcove to uh, plan my next strike here. Now, the thing is, is there's sugar cane in here, so that's where I'm going to get my sugar cane. We're going to go ahead and take that. Now, uh, these are all silverfish, and I hate silverfish with a passion. So here's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys. Probably a bad idea with the cave spiders and all, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And then, uh, goodbye, skeleton. So, yeah, I'm just going to use the lava there. And that should do it for me, for you. Go ahead, lava. Do your thing. Explode and cause serious fucking a-hole damage. So I'm only going to get eight of these uh, gold ingots. I'm just creating a lava flank here to uh, protect me from anything that happens. And oh yay, that got pushed over. So now uh, my question is, is why is this stuff not lingering? Uh, is it just creating stuff for... Uh... Hi. Um... I'm trying to create like a huge uh, flank here, if no one can tell, because if I do that, it's going to it allow me to just come in here and any enemy that attempts to uh, set down and uh, try to get me from this area, it's going to find it way harder to get to me. So, and by doing this, I am setting up an effective flank to uh, make my next bridge. So, yeah. How about that one for you? So, yeah. I think it's quite nice to have this kind of a flank. So, now we're going to go ahead and open this up, see what kind of damage I've done. So, I've done a decent amount here. Um, whoa. Hey, I thought I killed you. So, yeah. Now we just got to kill all the goddamn skeletons. So... And now that all the skeletons are dead, should just be able to come in here and do something like that. And we can literally just bridge our way to the uh, rest of the dungeon, kill those guys. Because they're going to be annoying. That was a nice shot on that silverfish, I wasn't even aiming for him and I still hit him. So we're going to go ahead and kill that skeleton. Kill that creeper, um, just because I want to. 
Um, any more skeletons that I need to worry about close by? Yes, he's there. So I don't know where... Oh, poor bat. I don't know where they're coming from. Um, there's a creeper right there, and you know what? Creeper? I'm just gonna drop a lob on you. Oh, are you guys coming out of the roof? Too bad for you. I'm dropping lava on your heads. Just for the hell of it. So, take my lava back. The gold's right there! It's like sitting right there in front of my face, tempting me to move farther away, and... Did I just look at the Enderman? No. Okay. So. There we go. This is more like it for me. Um... This is absolutely more like it. It's just a calm bridge straight across um, these mines here. As long as a skeleton doesn't come along and say, Hey, look, target, I should be fine. And, you know, I don't think that's going to happen at this point because I'm a little bit more careful about how I do things on the map. And, yeah. So, now, here in a moment, I'm going to have a ton of spiders on me. And I'm going to continue my lava tirade here. Uh, just because it's fun. See? Skeleton. Already sane target. So, let's get rid of him, shall we? So, they're all dead. And we're going to continue dropping lava on their heads. <laughs> I love doing this. Take my lava back. Go ahead and shoot down the uh, skeleton that's saying hi to me. And, yeah. So, uh, now to, uh, make my way over here. So, whoa, nether skeleton. I don't know where you're coming from. I don't really care. You're dead to me anyways. So, let's hurry up, make a block. Got another skeleton on his way. Um, I... okay. I, I, I was able to place that block safely. Um, okay, so he's trying to get an angle on me. That is a smart-ass skeleton. Trying to get an angle on me. That is actually really smart of him. Oh, great. Now he's in... Oh, he's got an enchanted bow. A douche. So. Alright. Yep. That's all done. I'm gonna start throwing up torches here. We're slowly but surely making our bridge here. That's good. Um... Don't get shot off, Kyle. Okay, so just don't get shot off. Whatever the hell happens, that is the number one no-no of this dungeon. You get shot off, you are dead. Um, so yeah. Almost to the gold. That's all we need. It's a bit more stuffs. Um, there we go. Moving slowly but surely to our goal here. Gonna throw up uh, some torches. So, eh. This is scary. I am literally floating over death and desire. Um, so. Okay. Spawner is down. That's a silverfish spawner. I really don't care about it. What I want to do is I want to get over there. Because that's where the gold's at. And I'm going to go ahead and drop down another thing of lava. Right on these spawners here. Um, because it's going to light it up, the area up, really nicely. And it's going to kill all those spiders down there uh, r really well um, for me to go ahead and just kill them all. So, so yeah. Alright, and now we're going to move this way in attempts to get close enough to take that out. And there we go. Okay, little bit at a time. Don't move too quickly here. Whoa, another bony guy here trying to take me down. I see you. None of your friends are going to be able to get to me because I've already taken down most of your uh, stuffs here. There we go. And we're safe. The Ilverin mines have been conquered. Welcome to my possession, Mr. Gold. And you will be staying in my possession for quite some time. So we're going to get uh, 18 gold here. Just for the heck of it. Because I love gold. Um, it's my favorite of the ores because it has so many uses. We have 12. Need a few more. Let's go over here and see what I can't get. So I need 6 more gold. Total. Okay. Is that it? That is it. 
All right, and I am safe to do this. I am so happy. So, all right, guys. And now, if I need more gold, I can. Now, if I want gold, I got a shit ton here that's safe for me to grab. Let's head back to the victory monument and stick this stuff down. Uh, wait, is there a melon in there? Aw, oh, dang it, no melon. <laughs> well, hi. How are you today, senor? Uh, yeah, the melon's down in that chest. I'm not even gonna attempt to go get it. Um, I'm just gonna stick with what I have here and be glad that I have what I have <laughs> at this point in time. Uh, yeah, so, lava. Lava is the key to getting out of there, and I really hate that lag. So, we have our gold black. And, yeah, I'll be right back. I will meet you at the Victory Monument. Hey, guys, it's Kyle Kaysen. Welcome back. Uh, I'm here at the Victory Monument. I've already smelted my gold blocks. I put one in there. Uh, for safekeeping, we'll probably have to break it down later for potions. Maybe not. But without further ado... Let's make that final. Intersection 2 is now complete. So, Intersection 3 is what we have to get to, and that is in Cavern of Sky. So yes, we will have to go back there, but it's going to be fairly easy to get there. So, Gold Block and the Iron Block are now in my possession. The doll that's left is the Diamond Block, is the uh, Brown Wool, the Green Wool, the Red Wool, the Black Wool, and the Diamond Block. I'm going to be able to get the Brown Wool and the Green Wool, and uh, the Black Wool all in one sitting, I think. No. Just the brown wool and the green wool. We'll get those in one setting and uh, get out. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. And actually, I'm going to do something really fun here. Uh, let's see. That's going to cost 33. I think. Yes! And now I have a really good smite. Uh, one, looting one, knockback two. Not really going to need Bane of Arthropods. The smite is going to be more important. And the knockback is also going to be fairly important to me. So that's good. We're all set for the next adventure. I will see you guys later. This is Kyle Kaysen signing out.